I only have one minute of your time according to the YouTube metrics. So in this one minute, I'm explain high level. There's a guy, Ryan Patrick, he made a video attacking some YouTubers about spreading misinformation and that YouTuber responded and the person that we think is the suspicious one that Ryan Patrick's talking about is another YouTuber called My Crypto Journey, Rodney. I follow both of them. I'm not taking any sides. I'm just here to explain what's going on to you guys if you're not involved and had to catch up just like I had to. Um, so I got it down high level 30 seconds and now let's get into it. <laughs> Man, I was recording the intro and I was like, hey, I can take my headphones off. Why did I do that? Regardless, guys, my name's Teddy and I want to talk about a few of the points that uh, are happening. So I had to catch up on this drama on Twitter. I was uh, reading some tweets and there were, I guess, shots fired, Saitama drama. And I'm like, what is going on? And I went, I found the video myself. It is this guy right here, Ryan Patrick. Uh, I guess he was a dating coach and now he does crypto videos. He has a lot of subscribers. I, mean, I follow this guy myself. Um, no, I guess not on this account. I'm sorry. Don't hate me. Uh, regardless. So I do uh, follow both Ryan Patrick and the other person that supposedly Ryan Patrick is talking about, which is my crypto journey, Rodney. So Rodney is supposedly the person that got attacked in this uh, drama. So I also want to talk about basically how, what the points that Rodney retaliated with and where I think, you know, I was really hoping that Ryan Patrick would respond because what happened is Ryan Patrick put out a video, then Rodney put out a video in response, and I was waiting for the second response video from Ryan Patrick, but to my knowledge, there is none as of 1-5 making this video. Um, so yeah, let's first uh, go to what Ryan Patrick is saying about the misinformation. Which is, Cytomask got delayed again, okay? And I'm quoting, these are direct quotes from uh, one particular person, okay? This person made this statement. So uh, I just wanna say that this is false because in order for site MS to be delayed, there would have had to have been a hard uh, launch date or a hard deadline for. So there you have it. Site MS got delayed. There's a YouTuber and he's saying site MS got delayed. I'm pretty sure site MS got delayed. I am part of the wolf pack. Please don't come after me. I'm not taking sides while explaining this to you. I'm just uh, catching you up in case you aren't following along and you're part of this wolf pack community. Um, so in short, Ryan Patrick saying, hey, there's a YouTuber he's saying side of mask got delayed and that's false. Guys, do your own research. This is one of the points that Ryan Patrick brought up. It's about a minute 35 into this video. Um, and yeah, he just goes and explains exactly why uh, he thinks this is misinformation. Release, which was never given. As we know, we were waiting for our Certic audit to come out, which fortunately came out for us on Christmas, okay? And Scott Herman Crypto had an AMA with Russ that I was on in terms of chat, not on the screen, but I was in chat. And Scott was gracious enough to ask a question toward the very end of his AMA. So basically he's gonna talk about what was asked in that AMA and let's just keep going. Which was, even if Certic releases uh, Cytomask from the audit and gives us praise and approves it, would you instantly release Cytomask or would you wait until the new year? So this is where um, Ryan Patrick is using the base of, hey, the Wolfpack has always said Cytomask is not gonna come out unless their Certic audit is at 100%. And I think where this correlates is basically there's misinformation. People thought that the Certic audit would finish by the Las Vegas event back in November. Unfortunately, that did not happen. The Las Vegas event happened, but the Certic audit did not complete. So that's where I guess some people are taking, hey, that means it was delayed, while others are saying, no, that's, that's not, uh, that's misinformation basically. All right, let's skip ahead to his second point right here. Number one. 
The second false statement is Russ is telling his exchanges to F off. Now, this is just an amplification of a statement Russ made, which was, you know, we don't really need exchanges, is what he said, because we have Cytomask. We have our own exchange, essentially. Okay, so I don't know if you guys have followed, but there was another AMA that was done um, that Ryan Patrick's referring to, where Russ, the COO of Saitama, basically goes, hey... Uh, we don't need other exchanges. You know, we reached out to them. You know, at the time they were, they said certain things and Russ did not follow through. So people took that as Russ saying, hey, uh, Russ is saying they don't need exchanges. We're never going to get listed. And unfortunately, uh, this is where Ryan, um, to Ryan Patrick's defense, that I believe there is some misconception here because there were clarifications that Russ brought up later on. But it did happen, and that's and that's what Ryan Patrick believes is misinformation. All right, let's play. Our own decentralized exchange. And he was making this statement, and at this point, all of his actions have led us in the direction of Saitama wants to be on every exchange possible. Ru so that is true. Saitama wants to be on every exchange possible. I want to see Saitama get listed, so I'm ready. Whether it's KuCoin, Binance. Yo, I tweet the Binance uh, underscore CZ guy all the time. I'm like, dude, please list Saitama. Please list Saitama. Anytime he puts out a tweet, I go in there. I'm like, Saitama. Because, unfortunately, I'm a Saitama fanboy. I like Saitama. I got into um, this type of cryptos, uh, you know, the community cryptos. And my first community crypto is Saitama. You know, I missed out on Shiba Inu, so I invested in Saitama. But let's continue. Ross believes this, the devs believe that, and they do it with their actions in the fact that they've already submitted us to all of these exchanges. He has said that... So yeah, they have submitted us. So yeah, so if they've submitted us, I don't think they're truly saying F off. So let's go over to the third point here. Mm. And BD has a racketeering thing going on. Yes, that is a direct quote. Uh, and no, that is not true. Uh okay, so right here, he flat out says, no, that's not true. So that's important, guys. Brad B's racketeering charge is important. Uh, we discussed this head on. If you were there for my tokenomics AMA with Brad uh, just a few short days ago, right? At the end of last week. Uh, Thursday, I believe. I, my very first question, you, you'll learn within the first 10 minutes of that AMA, I asked him about the charges, the things that were being alleged, and he described them pretty clearly in a way that he... So, Ryan Patrick says he reached out to Brad and he's uh, responded and this is Brad's response. I hadn't before in, in my interview, he mentioned it, but we really addressed it there. And what is happening is a civil case. Uh, it's a, a loss. So there you go. He said no. And then he goes, it's a civil case. So yeah, regardless, let's go past this and talk about the next point. Mm -hmm. The fourth point here. Statement that I managed to quote, what Brad Beatty did is fraud. Okay. Uh, this person was talking about you know, a couple other people and he threw Brad. So the real takeaway is what Brad uh, BD did is fraud. And he's just to coming to Brad's defense saying it's not fraud. All right. And let's go to the final point. At... Right here. <laughs> and let me, I just want to wrap things up with the fifth false statement. The Saitama hype is dying down, okay? I'm not a fan of the word hype. I don't look at myself or this channel as a, a hype channel. Uh, I am a very motivated and optimistic Saitama holder. So I, I am I agree with Ryan Patrick here. I do follow Ryan Patrick. I watch his videos. This is a one-of-a-kind video. I've never seen him do this kind of 
uh, video where he's and to to be honest, I do feel like he's coming right to Rodney and calling him out as a misinformation spreader. And the weird part is, I've seen Ryan Patrick on Rodney's streams too. All right, let's see. But I don't just spit. I guess what I meant was I've seen Ryan Patrick on Rodney's chat live stream, not on the actual stream. Sunshine and rain, rainbows at Saitama. I was on a live stream with Scott Herman the other day, and we were going through Twitter and looking at. You know, all the misspellings that were coming out from. So, I mean, guys, you have to make your own decision. If the Saitama hype is dying down, you guys know it. You're on Twitter, wherever you may be, you can make your own decision there. Nothing too crazy um, in Ryan Patrick's. And now I want to go over to Rodney's response and a few points he brought up. And really, I'm not picking any sides. I could have done Rodney's video first, but, you know, it doesn't make sense. This video came out first. So now let's see what Rodney said. And I want to highlight certain areas. <laughs> All right, the first point he comes right off the bat right here to explain the situation where he's being uh, attacked on Twitter by a official Saitama PR person. And Lily Finance also responded saying, yeah, go report this video as spreading misinformation. And if you can go watch the video, you can make your own decision. I believe uh, from what I've seen of my crypto journey, he's just being objective and that's the type of person he is. I also believe that he had this uh, person, Slim Jesus, on his live stream and some of the information that Slim Jesus passed around, which Rodney may or may not agree with, but because it was said on his live stream, I think people are associating Rodney with those statements that were made by Slim Jesus. And that's unfortunate you know and he's just being objective and some of the statements are being taken out of context so let's see what rodney has to say this jonathan pr guy right one of the pr guys for saitama over in the new york area has 3500 followers posted the thing about me saying i need everyone to go to this page on youtube my crypto journal journey and dislike download and report as a scam to this paid fudder there is no proof that i'm a paid fudder Not I also do not believe he's a paid fudder. Ryan Patrick, I, I could see getting some money from Saitama, but it doesn't matter. I follow both of them. Let's see. I'm not taking any from anyone. And if this thing ever goes to court, right, they want to take me to court for some frivolous lawsuit because I'm speaking facts, bring it. And you'll see, you can check my bank records, never been paid by anyone to fund anything crazy. Not only did he tell everyone, right, this guy who has 3,500 followers to so go to YouTube and report my video as a scam, which is a clear abuse of YouTube's terms of service. Not only did he do that, Lily So there it is, Lily Finance actually responds says, ouch, and that's like validation for Rodney saying that this is against the YouTube uh, terms and conditions. You're not supposed to call out a channel like that. All right, so let's continue to the next point here and report my thing as a scam. Okay, so Ryan Patrick said I talked about, you know, how Lily Finance is involved in racketeering and those sorts of things, that it's a civil suit, right? He says, I got my facts wrong. If you do a simple search of the lawsuit going on, right? Tri Pharma Inc. versus Safe Harvest Medical Inc. Who are the defendants in this case? There's quite a few people, but we see Brad. So here it is, Brad Beatty right there. Um, and Rodney's defending himself saying that here it is. You can do a search, you can find this. Uh, case right on the internet. All right, let's move on to the next point. Leaving Lillian Bay, miracles happen, right? Another money grab profiting off his daughter's illnesses. To me, that's scummy. I mean, look at this review from 2013. This book is a ploy to raise money. UPS insurance is excellent and covers the majority of the bills. Besides that, she has a Medicaid to cover what they don't. This is a horrible book in my opinion, and there is hardly any truth to it. Besides trying to make money off this little girl that is perfectly healthy now. I mean, if you go watch the AMAs on Ryan Patrick's channels, it's like they're using key words like veterans and children and trying to tug at so this is a book that i believe was published uh associating itself to lillian um which is part of lily finance so they're saying hey there's some uh scam you know comments and stuff like that guys you make your own decision i personally i like the lily finance i'm gonna ape my um portfolio a little bit of it in there uh just to see i'm not gonna put all my saitama i think on side of mask but the amount that I can, uh, willing to risk right off the initial launch. Um, I'm going to try and grab some Lily. All right, let's keep continue to the next point. 
Let me see here. Let me explain, because in 2016, right here, right, on records.course.alaska, right, right around the time where Russ worked at the Altic Museum, February 22nd, 2016, right, that's Russ and his wife, right, in Alaska, right around that time, there was a case for a forgery charge. What happened? Well, it says right here that the original charge was forgery three under forged instrument, class A misdemeanor. The indicted charge was forgery two legal documents, class C felony, and the amend charge was forgery... So here we go. This is the forgery and the fraud that um, <laughs> that Rodney is directly responding with. He's like, guys, do your search. This is the Saitama uh, fraud that he's calling out Russ now. So he's shown the Brad. Now he's shown Russ's past, which is fine. You know, people have gone to the depths of darkness and have done great things. You know, I think even the My Pillow uh, CEO, like I think he was down in the dumps and somehow he now owns like a million or billion dollar company, you know? So maybe the same thing's happening here, people trying to make money. Uh, but you do do your own research and you um, invest if you feel it's good for you. I'm not a financial advisor and neither is Rodney or Ryan Patrick, so I just wanna reiterate, do your own research. Three two legal documents class A misdemeanor. Now Russ took a plea deal, that's what it looks like, to take the felony to a misdemeanor, right? What happened? I would like to know what happened. Yeah, I would like to know what happened too, but let's continue on. And wire fraud scam. Why would I hire that person? That makes no sense. So this is another fraud. So this is just Rodney, boom, 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 talking about the fraud, the cases. You know, he's really backing up the statements that Ryan Patrick, we believe, attacked Rodney. So another uh, case about... Uh, the rapper Willie D, and this is right from FBI.gov. And there's people that have been, when Saitama dumped because of the little banner image on CoinMarketCap that said, hey, Willie D is a known scammer, be careful, or some, or whatever, right? And it linked down to the FBI articles from 2010. What? Do your own research. All right, next point. <laughs> How much are you getting paid by Saitama and Lily Finance for these AMAs to come on your platform and brainwash these people into buying this clear pumping up, in my opinion? I don't know. So there you go. How much is Willie D getting paid? And Rodney's not getting paid. He's just being objective. He's doing his research. He's an investor. He's doing his research, and he's nice enough to show this is how he does research. Ryan Patrick also does research, but maybe... Ryan Patrick could be getting paid from Saitama. You not you guys, you never know. Just the co the coincidence of like the video coming out, it's not really something I've ever seen Ryan Patrick do where he calls out somebody and it it comes out and I'm like, "Oh, what is this?" and Rodney wants to defend himself and it's very interesting. Also, talking about interesting Rodney's wearing a black shirt. <laughs> very interesting choice of color. When do you wear black? <laughs> I know he said that. It's very specific to his shirt color. All right, let's continue here to the next point. We're almost there for the. Should have broadcasted that a little better. This started pumping right because of a set date. Now, now that we have a set date for Cytomass to be out, right now that we have. So right here, this point is brought up because Ryan Patrick says, "Hey, the Saitama hype is dying," because when there was a date, right, Saitama pumped. And when that date did not deliver a product, Saitama dropped. And when it dropped, Rodney associates that with, hey, the hype down, the hype died down. And that's why they can't uh, pump the price again. You know, not many people are talking about it. It's not being spread. So that's what Rodney wants to say. And now on January 5th, now that there's a timer on the Saitama website, it is going up like anything. And yeah, it's retracing a little, but I personally believe it may drop a zero. And if it does, take your profits. It's not financial advice. You guys do your own thing. All right. And I want to go to the last point. Right here. 
at me for talking critically of a project, objectively critically of a project. I'm not a fanboy. That's not what I do on my channel. I'm here to bring you the unbiased news. Yes, I was excited for the project months ago. I was. It was all potential. It was all hype. We were angel investors. But through the weeks and months of covering the story, all I've seen are missed targets. All I've seen are empty prompts. So there you go. He's talking about Saitama not delivering and the delays of Cytomask and stuff like that. So guys, that is literally what's going on in this drama of Saitama between YouTubers, Ryan Patrick, Rodney, they're at it. I hope Ryan Patrick responds. If he does, I will give you my thoughts on it as well. I'm not picking any sides. And if you made it this far in the video, please like and subscribe. I have grown exponentially. I'm at like 60 something subscribers now. I appreciate all of you. If you do comment, I respond to every comment. And as usual, have a great day. And more specifically, my crypto journey, Rodney, who is the person that uh, in, what did they call it? In, um, is is the person that they think is is uh what they're talking oh my god i need to start over only